All right, this is from uh, Math Olympiad in China 2021. Again, is a fill in the blank problem, and which means is a problem that shouldn't uh, take too much time. All right, so let's uh, see here. We're given ABC triangle with two sides six and four given, and also the median length here is square root 10. We try to find the half angle of angle A, we try to find sine six power and cosine six power. And, and uh, you know, so that's, uh, even though it's a geometry problem, it's more like algebra and uh, trigonometry, all right? So why don't you give it a try, pause the video and try to solve it, find the answer and come back, all right? So when you're ready, let's continue. All right, so here, it's good to review some of the, you know, basic logic in love cosine, where it says a side length in a triangle is actually equal to the, the other side length and 2a cosine c, which is the opposing angle. And also, if you have angle, you trace of that, and sine would have this formula, cosine, you know, this is very commonly used. And also, of course, fundamental property of a sine cosine is that it's a sum of square equal to one, all right? So we're gonna use that in uh, this problem, all right? So let's first of all find out the medium length formula here. So because in this case, we're given this is a six, this is a four, and this is square root of 10. But in general, let's say if I have A, B, C triangle and I have this medium line here, uh, what is the formula? So the way to figure it out is to use love cosine. In this case, I'm looking at love cosine in the triangle ABM. So we're gonna apply log cosine where you're gonna do the C square, right? So C square in this case would equal to M square plus the segment length, let's change another color here. This one, yeah? This one is B over two square and minus two m two b over two cosine. Let's call this angle here one. The other angle, let's call it angle two. We notice that angle one plus angle two equal 180 degrees, which means cosine of angle one and equal negative cosine of angle two because they're complementing each other, right? So here, this is angle one. Now, in the other triangle, of course, the BCM, in the BCM, you're gonna use love cosine again. You're gonna have A square equals same thing here, right? B over M square, because this is a medium here, this is both equal half of B, minus two M B over two, cosine the other angle here. So if you add it up, right? You notice that if you add these two equations, this would cancel because cosine one, cosine two, they're opposite of each other, so this goes away. What you get is, when you add them up, you're gonna get a square plus c square equal two m square, plus here in this case, two of uh, half b square would be half of b square, right? So that's the formula, right? So in this case, we're gonna plug in and try to find out what is B here, right? Because everything else is given here, six, four, square root of two. So let's plug in here, six square, yeah? Plus four square equal two, square root of 10 squared, that would be 10, plus half of B square. So this is, a, you know, 36, 16, right? So 62. And uh, minus these would be okay. Let's write it here. And some algebra probably is, doesn't add up here. Is thirty two. 36 plus uh, 16, sorry, this is 52, yeah, 52. So um, 
So P here would be 64. So P squared equal 64. So P must be 8. All right, so we got it. So now, since we need to find out cosine half of A, so it's good to find out cosine A, right? So how do we find cosine A here in this triangle? So we need to B, we already find it, this is 8. Right, so this this whole lens is eight. So here, what is cosine a? Again, we're gonna use a uh, lot of cosine here for the big triangle in the big triangle a, b, c. Yeah, in order to find out cosine a, right? So what you do is uh, you're gonna find uh, uh, this here would be four square would equal and this value would be six square plus that will be eight square minus 2 times 6 times 8 times cosine a. So what is cosine a? It's just plug in, right? So this is 16, yeah. This is 36 plus 64 minus, that would be 96 cosine of a, right? So if uh, you divide by 16 here, Right, yeah, divided by 16 of, of, of both sides. Oh, sorry. Let's just uh, um, simplify it first. So that would be 100, right? So this this is 100 here. Yeah. And the other one is uh, 16. So what you get is 84, yeah? So back to saying that cosine A equals 84 divided by 96 and if you divide by 12 this is 8 this will be 7 so cosine a is here yeah 7 over 8 that's good All right so now we need to find you know this quantity here 6 power right plus cosine now, it's good to know this formula here, right? So if you recall, this would equal x plus y, x squared minus xy, plus y squared, right, in general here. Why this is useful? Because this six power is con considered of, uh, you know, um, sine square and then to the third power, right? And this is uh, cosine square and then sort of power so in other words this is x this is y yeah in this case there's a special property that x plus y equal to one because sine square plus cosine square equal to one so we try to take advantage of that so typically for this formula you stop right here but in this case we want to come up with x plus y because eventually this will go away this will be one right so here in order to do that, let's let's try it again. Let's y, we can change this to be x plus y square, right? X plus y square minus three x y. Why we're doing that? Because we try to take advantage of the x plus y in this case equal to one. All right. So let's solve the problem now. We have all the tools, and we have the intermediate results. All right. Let's solve it. So here we're saying that this is actually the square of third power and x third y third is equal to x plus y which is one here goes away and here x square minus xy plus y square earlier we said that that's equal to this one and, and x plus y to one so is equal to one minus three this one now notice that sine cosine of a half angle is going to be uh, half of sine angle right because we saw sine a equal to sine half of a cosine half of a so here the whole thing here if you replace with sine square a is going to be this one and then earlier we already find out cosine a and cosine a and sine square of a of course is equal one cosine square of a so just plug in one minus the eight eight over seven is funny earlier so if you do this the final answer would be, let's plug in, right? So 1 minus 3 over 4 
it is going to be 64 and there's 1 minus 64 minus 49 yeah so that's equal 1 minus 256 3 times what is that the 15 yeah okay so this is 256 over there is 1 to 1 1 okay that would be the answer all right so in summary what we have is that as original problem the answer is this one but here we're using the you know, what is called the median lens formula here right and for the, for the to find the median lens yeah we also use log cosine to find the cosine a and then we use some trick identity to find out this um, final quantity all right so hope you enjoy the video please subscribe to the channel for you know similar problem like this and also please suggest any additional um, chain uh, topics uh, in the comments below you know uh, i just started uh, to work on this and uh, looks like we don't have enough um, subscribers to have a community here right for discussion on like future topics all right but please leave comments if you have uh, some ideas thank you